I don't know who this Lionel Messi guy is. Fuck Messi! That was the best MLS game of the year for sure. This is why we love soccer. Messi! Messi. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are heading to Cincinnati, Ohio, where Lionel Messi and Inter Miami are set to take on FC Cincinnati in the semifinal of the U.S. Open Cup. And like we always do, we're going to talk to the fans outside the stadium before the game, after the game, get their thoughts, their predictions, all of that. Let's get to it. That one guy you made Fred from right, Lionel Messi, he's in town. Tell me, as a FC Cincinnati fan, did that phase you at all? Are you extra excited or it's just a normal game for you? So who's in town? Goes by the name of Lionel Messi. Maybe you heard of him? Never heard of him, no. And by the name of Lionel Messi, right? He's here. I've never heard of him. you never heard of him? Uh, I'm going to have to go with my city, Cincinnati, as always. I mean, I don't know who this Lionel Messi guy is. Oh, it's this guy, you know, Argentinian guy. You know, I think he's from the same place as Acosta. Maybe you heard of him? No, I, I think everybody knows it's going to be exciting to see this guy play in person. Um, I mean, obviously what he's done on the world stage, one of the best players ever play the game. Maybe the best, who knows? Um, but yes, it's also another game. Now, if you guys watched my previous fan reaction videos, you would realize I'm in a bit of a different environment right now. I am not currently in a hotel room. I am actually inside my personal bedroom. The reason is I was not expecting to be going to Cincinnati, Ohio today. So it's a little bit of a last minute plan. That's why I have to film this in my room. Okay, so I see we got the Argentina. Tell me, is this for Messi or is this for Lucho Costa? Who are we rooting for today? For Messi, for Messi. Obviously, obviously, right? Thank you for making us happy. All right, so obviously, right? I heard you walk by, you said, boom, Messi. We're rooting for Acosta tonight. That's the Argentinian we're That's rooting for. That's our number 10. Okay. That's right. All right, so tell me about it. When you heard Messi was coming to town, right? And if you're being honest with yourself, were you a little bit excited or it's just a normal game? I was a little bit excited, but he's got. For me, I'm here for FCC. Number 10, Acosta is my number 10. I just saw your guys' comments though. I saw the support. And even though I wasn't planning to do fan reactions for the US Open Cup, a lot of you wanted to see it. And I found a way to make it work. So I'm gonna make this video for you guys. And if you appreciate that, if you appreciate the hustle and the grind, what I would appreciate is if you could like this video and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for that. Of course, we're, we're rooting for SC Cincinnati. We've been here semifinals a couple years ago. Okay. Right? That was when we were in the MLS. We're here for revenge. We want our first trophy, right? But at the same time, you got to respect the GOAT, right? Uh, I'm, I'm a Barca fan also. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. You know, so and you, and you got to respect the GOAT. I, I love Messi and uh, just the opportunity to see, you know, my favorite player versus the team that I'm rooting for. So, I mean, like, let's go. I think you can do both. You can root for FCC and for Messi, right? So it's a, it's a unique opportunity. So we're excited. Okay, so, so we're excited for both. Tell me, who do you want to win, though? Who, who, do you, who are you rooting for? FCC all the way. Don't Messi. listen to that. This guy doesn't know, what, he doesn't know what he's talking about. We're a house divided. Now, another reason why I was very tempted to go to this game and talk to the fans is just because the matchup that we have tonight is very intriguing to me. We have on paper what is the best team in Major League Soccer being FC Cincinnati and on paper the worst team in Major League Soccer being Inter Miami. Obviously we know that's not the case anymore but I think tonight has the makings of being a very good matchup. I think it's uh, just another game. I mean I think it's he's very good but he does have other players around him. I mean Miami's in last place right now. Yeah, I think that's gonna be okay for us. So I, I think we're going to be all right. What do you think the game is going to be like? Is Messi going to get the win? You want to see FC Cincinnati win? What do you think? I want Messi to score as many goals as possible. Oh, yeah. I mean, we live in Louisville, Kentucky, so coming here to watch uh, one of the GOATs play in soccer is definitely something we had to do. And this 12-year-old here, you know, he loves soccer, so I had to bring him up to the game. What do you think? I never even knew that Messi was coming to the USA, so I was so excited when he came. Obviously, right? You, you don't even know who he is, right? Let I, me. I just heard of him today. So. Okay, you just heard of him today. He's a decent player, right? They, yeah. they, he, they just won the League's Cup, decent team. Tell me, are, are you worried about that at all? Or you, you're rooting for Cincinnati all the way. Dude, I think he's kind of washed, to be honest. Like, I don't think he's got it in him, so. And then, of course, another reason to always be excited about a game is it's a cup semifinal. It's not just another game where you get three points or you get one point if you draw or zero points if you lose. No, this is win to go on. And Lionel Messi and Inter Miami have a chance to go to another cup final. But FC Cincinnati obviously want to win their first trophy. So there's a lot on the line tonight. So tell me, right? So obviously, right, he won the World Cup like you mentioned. They just won the League's Cup. Now it's the semifinal of the U.S. Open Cup. Are they going to do it? Is Messi going to win another cup final? What do you think? Probably. Or, I mean, it, it may not happen, but he's still like... He's a, a, a game changer on the pitch. 
So, I mean, you can win, you can lose, but he's amazing and we'll follow him everywhere. Well, I was hearing about Messi coming in. Luckily, my friend was able to get some tickets for us, so it's going to be a nice little treat for me. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see it. I mean, me Messi, from what I hear, has still got it, so we'll see how our team can, can handle it. But uh, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. I, I, I don't think I've seen this much excitement for uh, FC Cincinnati game in a long time. So clearly, clearly he has an effect on the city that I haven't seen in a while, so there you go. Take that for what you will. I'm a season ticket holder, so I was coming. This is semifinals. I was coming no matter what. But with Messi coming, yeah, I'm, I was here no matter what. So this is the added bonus, but you were going to be here at the way. Yeah, absolutely. I root for a good game today, but of course, I'm a fan. I've uh, been following uh, Messi for 20 years now. And before then, Maradona. So I'm very excited that they came to a city that I have, uh, I'm coming to visit, my friend Bill Constantinesco, working for General Electric here. Awesome. So it was very timely, very great opportunity for me to see the legend. Yeah. And what you will see today is just 10% of what he used to play for the last 20 years. He's like Tom Brady asking him now right, to play like he was at 25. It's yeah. impossible. Yet everybody wants to come to see because he's amazing. I have yet to pick against Lionel Messi and Inter Miami since I started doing my predictions for these games. And obviously I have not been wrong because they've won every single game, even though I haven't gotten the scores exactly correct. Every time I pick Inter Miami to win, they have won. But if there was a time where I had some doubts, it would be this match. Miami's not very good, but they got messy, you know? We're a better team, but they got messy. And I've seen this happen too many times. I, I don't think we're gonna win, honestly. I think Messi's gonna end up winning, but I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. I, I think FC's gonna win. If I had predictions, it's probably gonna be like 2-1. Can you guys give me a score prediction for today's game? 2-1 FCC. 2-0 FC. Um, I'm saying 2-1 to one FCC. 3-1, we win, Messi scores, we're all happy. 3-2 to two FCC. 2-1 two uh, in Miami. 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two. and then who's gonna win on penalties? 1-1 one, one penalties. Who's winning? Uh, Messi. Uh, we're going to get two, they're going to get one. I think Inter Miami will win by like two points. 1-0 for the Inter. 3-2 Cincinnati. 3-2 Inter Miami. 3-2 Inter Miami. But That's you want FC Cincinnati to do good, right? Yeah. 3-1 FCC will score. 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. Uh, Robert Taylor scores one, Messi scores another. And let's say Lucha Costa score for FCC. I've got Cincinnati and penalties, 2-2 two, two at, uh, at the end of time. Cincinnati and penalties. Lionel Messi and Inter Miami, they're coming off a long League's Cup run, and I'm sure they're a bit exhausted for this midweek matchup in the U.S. Open Cup semifinal. And when you look at FC Cincinnati, they're not only a very good team with a few great players, they're also very well rested. So when I think about this game, it feels a little bit wrong to be thinking Inter Miami have the upper hand. But it feels even more wrong to pick against Lionel Messi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's going to be 1-1 in the first 90 minutes, 1-1 through extra time, and then Lionel Messi and Inter Miami will win on penalties. That's my prediction. Lionel Messi is going to get a goal. Is it right? Is it wrong? I don't know, but that's what I'm going with. Let's see how it goes. Three hours later. Anybody want to talk about the game? Shit. Fuck Messi. Messi's fucking lucky that we didn't beat him. Messi's very fucking lucky. He didn't play a great game at all, to be quite honest. I'm impressed that he made it the whole game, though. This is why we love soccer, because it's wonderful. I mean, Messi showed up, and if you went to the game and you paid a lot of money, you got your money's worth, for sure. It's wonderful, man. So, great. Kudos to FC Cincinnati. They had a great, great game, great year. Fantastic. Love it. I love soccer. And this was all that you could ever ask for. Miami, let's go! Messi! Best game of my life. Vamos Miami, 305 for life. It was great in the first half. You, you thought Miami wasn't there, but they came back and they stepped it up. Great game. Nah, I mean, it was a great game. Uh, it's always hard to stop Messi. Obviously, Cincinnati took the lead early on in the first half. Um, but at the end of the day, those, those two assists for Messi class, both crosses, Campagna with both great hitters. He's the LeBron of uh, soccer. He's the LeBron of soccer. Okay, so He's what do you think? He's LeBron of soccer. You got to watch greatness. You get your money's worth tonight? Oh, great. It was great. It was an awesome time. FC all the way, but when Messi's in town, you got to root for the greatness. So obviously, right? I see you got the FC Cincinnati, right? Maybe a little bit disappointed, Brutal. right? Brutal. He's what right. Did, what did you think of the result overall? So here's the deal, you know. We, we played a decent game, first 90 minutes was alright, our big issue here 
substitutions. At the end of the game, we're up 2-0, right? We're up 2-0. They score a goal. We just need to hold on to that one goal. Five more minutes. Right. Put in a full defensive team. You have to win in that situation. Yeah. Go crew. We didn't. All right, so we got the West Subs. So, so who are we rooting for today? Who are we? FCC, baby. What FCC. Okay, so right, so maybe a little disappointed, right? Yeah. But what did you think of the game overall? Just a bit. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a great game. It was like the World Cup final almost. You know, it was like we, FCC was about to pull it off, and then they got it to overtime, and then they took the lead, then we crawled back, and then they just barely edged us in pens. There were some questionable calls there in regulation and overtime, but you can't, you can't, you can't do anything about it. It's out of your control. It's in the refs' hands. Hey. I'm a biggest fan of Messi, all right? And then he's the best player in the world. I know. I'm, I'm here from Hawaii, okay. all right? I'm all the way from Hawaii, and then I loved it. I knew, I knew Inter Miami going to win, all right? And I hit, hey, what, what you going to do about it if you play against Messi, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was really cool because it wasn't like they just completely dominated the game. They, like, it was a pretty even game. I think it was a really good game. I mean, overall, you know, we came out there, we played well. We showed why we're the top of the supporter shield. Miami scored, you know, off of two set pieces. Uh, I don't think anybody's surprised by that. Um, Hello. Refereeing was definitely iffy. Uh, we la, definitely la, did. La, la. We definitely didn't finish our chances, though. So overall, it's one of those um, miss PK. We had a lot of opportunities in the box. I definitely think we, at the end of the day, we were the better team, and I think we were the first team in the MLS that showed kind of like Messi was kind of quiet outside of his set piece opportunities. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, they'll probably end up winning this cup too, but at the end of the day. There's a reason why we're the supporter shield leaders. It's me personally, right? We took FC up top. Oh, uh, we we took, we took Miami. Messi up top. We took Miami to the standards that no other team could take them to. Messi was um, amazing. I just want to give a shout out to all the players that played tonight. They did wonderful. But to the refs, Messi was they, the refs they they showed us. I mean, it was so many fouls they caught that shouldn't have been fouls. Uh, Miami they was just flopping. We took Messi to beat them. That's one thing we did take Messi. No, no other team in Premier League or, or in MLS is going to take him to penalty kicks. So um, I feel like we did great in that spot. We talked to some Cincinnati fans. You know, they're not really attributing this to Messi. They say, you know, Messi is lucky that they're advancing to the final. They say, you know, the fans helped them out. Maybe a bit of unlucky on the side of FC Cincinnati. I mean, what do you think? Do you think he impacted the game or really it was just unlucky for FC Cincinnati? I, I think he did toward the end. He got the two assists, so he had a big impact. Um, but he was really quiet early on. Like, he didn't. I thought they were double and even triple teaming him. And, um, yeah, he just – but you, you can't – he's just – that's why he's the best of all time. You know, he's – eventually he's going to find a way, and as he's shown in the, all these other MLS games. And um, it was – it was just kind of shocking, especially that, yeah, that 96-minute equalizer. Took the energy completely out of the stadium, and then they get go up 3-2 in extra time. I yeah. thought it was over then. and But, yeah, that was so messy. Yeah, it's, it's not luck. He's he's the best. What you want to say? What you, you guys say? are running. Let's go with the shout-out to the refs in MLS because we know there's a little bit of favoritism going on tonight because the timing just didn't add up too much. We can't impact on the narrative of Messi and Inter Miami. FC Cincinnati played out of their minds tonight. I agree. I mean, just the boys played. OB was just in, Messi was in his pocket. Everybody was covering the right way. The zone was shifting. Lucho played out of his boots, right? But we know there's a narrative going on and it doesn't hit you until it comes to your city and your club because we've been top of the league the whole time. There's going to have to be a time where pro referees need to be asked about the conduct that they're doing. Don Garber is going to have to have a little bit of questioning about his impact on what's going on because the boys on our field tonight played out of their minds and they deserve to win. Great goals by Miami. All credit to them. Messi on all the assists, totally cool. But 
there's some things that are not starting to add up too much in the refereeing, the officiating is starting to impact that. It's time that this league, this country asks itself, what are we going to make of our soccer federation? Are we going to let inept refs and officials impact matches? Because it's not fair to the product we're developing here and the product that I think can be developed in 20 to 30 years. All right, guys. So, I mean, what is there to say? Another great game involving Inter Miami and Lionel Messi, but props to FC Cincinnati because they played their part in making this match an amazing match. The city showed out. I think the players showed out. They did a great job. But I mean, it just seems like Inter Miami and that Messi magic is inevitable right now. I don't know what else to say, but if you want to see more of the Messi magic and how it has impacted other cities across the country, go check out this video right now. So we came here to film outside the stadium because we thought the game was about to end. We were watching the game back at the hotel and they just tied it.